workshops, um, the, the modalities that you're utilizing. Let's, let's go into that. When, when is your next workshop? What is that all about? What are you going to okay. be covering? Right. Uh, the next workshop I've got is on the 20th to the 20th. Oh, on. 22nd to 23rd June and that's the relationship rescue workshop uh, and then late in July I've got your sole purpose workshop okay and, and uh, could, could you explain on the relationship yeah. rescue workshop yeah let me let me just basically what I go through is it looks at poor me or abuse anger or something or acting up for attention or many of the other different patterns people play and helping you identify what they are. You know, people don't have to come as couples. Uh, I often get individuals as well mm -hmm. because they realize that they need to identify what their relationship patterns are before they find another guy mm -hmm. or another woman mm -hmm. or another whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's about identifying what, what their pattern is and finding a different way of being. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at... First of all, identify where you are and as a, as a partner or a family, what kind of role you play to develop your partner and family vision. I always find it's important when you start coming up with what you actually want, especially if you're doing it as a couple. What do we want as a couple? You know, if you have like, if you look at your whole wheel of life, what do we financially want? What do we emotionally want? What do we want for our children? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of sex life do we want? You know, some of these topics that People don't ever raise, we raise. I actually had to add the part about sex into the workshops because I found that the men were anti coming on the workshops because they said it was too much emotion. So <laughs> <laughs> the lady said to me, got to have something about sex. And I, I actually agree it's an important part of the It's an important part and I make it on day two. Mm -hmm. So I always start off with the men and I say, I know it's a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. Some of the men aren't happy with dealing with all these emotions, but we talk about sex today too. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and uh, they get that. Yeah. And then uh, identify your own current behaviors, and then we look at partner, family, emotional intelligence, maturity, mm -hmm. first love, and how love changes. Mm -hmm. Transactional analysis, the ego, you know, mapping your family, codependence, aggressive, assertive, non-assertive. Use for me, uh, games people play, dysfunctional roles and dysfunctional things people do, all sorts of fun and games. The, the, the day one is quite intensive, mm -hmm. uh, but it's good. It's all good. Yeah. And then we move on to the day two where we start looking at getting what you want from your man. Mm -hmm. Beliefs and habits and reframing. Um, I'm sort of you know, neuro linguistic programming. Yeah. yeah. We do some of that. Uh, we share your needs and not your complaints. Have a date night, a new way of talking. Mm -hmm. uh, sitting in, in hidden meanings and different strategies. It's a way of telling your partner what kind of game you feel they're playing mm -hmm. before without saying it or interrupting. So it's almost like a catch mechanism or a safety net way mm -hmm. of trying to deal with things that come up. Uh, puzzling it out together, a different way of Talking, structured talking. So I give them a structured process that they follow. Mm -hmm. You say this until we achieve this. Mm -hmm. You say, I hear you feel, and you continue in different ways. That's just an example of what we do. Yeah. So it's a new way of teaching them how to deal with conflict mm -hmm. and how to tell each other what they need and what they want. Mm -hmm. um, we look at reality shifting, uh, the role of trust, the role of being love, sensuality, uh, partner affirmations, and how you can continue this and commitment mm -hmm. and, and how to carry it on. I've actually got an amazing system, which is a tool which we use on this workshop as well. Yeah. It's a, it's a, I don't know if you call it a web app or a mobile app, but it's a system that you can, that's tailored for you. You, part, you know, you get your own password mm -hmm. and it leads you through the whole process. Because some people want to do it on hard copy, yeah. and some want to do it on on the cell phone, on or on the computer, in front, you know, in the workshop. Mm -hmm. We offer computers for those that want to, and or some do a mixture of both. I like doing a mixture of both. You know, I like having the vision board stuck in the bedroom. Mm 
mm. that reminds them what do they mean to speak. Uh, but it's also nice to have a system that sends them reminders and not reminders like smile and the world smiles with you, which is very sweet and nice and all of that. Mm. But it's more tailored. It's, it sends them messages saying, you need to do this for your partner, Susie, because you want this and she feels this. So it sends you using your own motivation and your own um, techniques. It's actually based on the neuro-linguistic programming technique. Mm -hmm. um, but it's an automated system. Yeah. And obviously it's a password and you can't, you can't see what, you, you know, what other people have. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and they can't see what you've got. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, I actually give them some pre course work uh, with that workshop, and I mm. say they must start thinking: What were your mother's and grandmother's relationships like? Mm. Uh, what What were your parents' relationships? What are their patterns? Yeah. What are your intimate relationships like? Mm. What are you know your patterns? Just start identifying because we all have patterns, John. Mm. Yeah. You know, Somebody whose father was an alcoholic might be very anti-alcohol. Mm. Um, he's still being affected by the parent. Mm. You know, so sometimes they might have been uh, a, a, an abused child. They still, they might find themselves turning into a victim or into an abuser. Yeah. But it's about identifying the pattern and then choosing consciously mm. how you want to live. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, the way to look at it as well, it's it's... It is, you got to look at the blessings. I know it's hard for the people that get abused, but look at the blessing as to you're able to identify really what you want and what you don't want. And well, that's it. And then, action. you know, it's about is the partner here to change? Because, mm. you know, I don't only get abused people. Yeah. Uh, single people that won't, that struggle to get their person to commit. And, um, People that are codependent, you know, one that's always over clingy and the partner's always running away and feeling mm. like, you know, smothered by the partner. Mm. It's, that's very common. Codependency is such a common thing. Mm. You know? But uh, would, wouldn't you say that um, uh, relationships, a, a couple will inherit a large portion of their own family's ancestral? Um, I don't want to use the word downfalls, but um, uh, hindrances, rather, let's say that, into the relationship, because it's it's hard work. Yes, I definitely do um, inherit a lot, yeah. but it's, it mightn't only be from their own family. Yeah. You know, if they used to go and play at the next door neighbors, and they saw the next door neighbor hitting yeah. his wife or being codependent there, mm. then then they will inherit that as well. They could inherit that. Yeah. It's whoever they see as their role models. And then you, you know, so much of our so much of our mind and our body and our power is on a subconscious level and happens before we even ten years old. Yeah. So so much of these people aren't even aware that it's in them, you know, and it comes down to value systems and morals and expectations that we put on people. And, and the problem is we're not even aware of it ourselves, yeah. let alone able to communicate it appropriately to somebody else. Yeah. And we think the partner has to buy two red roses or whatever on, on Valentine's Day. Maybe they, it's not important for them. Maybe yeah. it's more important for them to give a box of chocolates. But they don't understand your expectations, and you don't understand these, so you you like two ships sailing yeah. past each other. Yeah, and then Wendy, with regards to to couples, because I mean, I've had uh, couples that come in, and you know, obviously you do the counselling aspects, and then you say you need the interaction because you're working a nine to nine job, um, and when you spend time together, you, you need to do. Intimacy doesn't mean going and jumping into the sack. It can also be give each other a massage or a foot rub. But I find, yeah, uh, you know, I just find in, uh, it's uh, some people see it as let's go to the spa <laughs> and and uh, it's, it's like shopping. yeah and do the shopping and have um, our, our our backs massaged and but the, it's like they lose that oh, they the connect spa. yeah no not the shopping the spa <laughs> shopping market <laughs> okay spa just got a a free advert um, yeah, uh, mention around the world but yeah but um, you know what advice would you give um, to couples, because I say, you know, 
get to that intimate level, get connect with your partner. It doesn't mean hop into the sack every time. It doesn't have no. to be all the time. But just create that loving, keep the spark going. I think I think that the important thing is also to realize how important making love is in a relationship. Yeah. Um, a lot of women say it's not important and oh I can think of one of my clients she always says I oh, know he doesn't really want it I know you know he doesn't ever try I'm sure if he wanted it he'd try mm. and and <laughs> you think to yourself the poor guy's so tired of trying yeah you know he's, he's turned off by it yeah but that's not a healthy relationship yeah and it's not only grab the bit and you know mm. jump to bed and yeah have sex. It's not about that. It's also holding their hand when you walk down the shop or sitting cuddling watching a movie or yeah. going for a walk in the garden or you know, yeah. doing different things together that don't involve sex. Mm. But the physical aspect is so important. Yeah. And, and you know, it's amazing that you say that because throughout my whole life, I mean, I'm, I'm close to my 50s and um, I mean, I, I can say I, I can't even count on all fingers on one hand that I've seen elderly couples in their in their 60s 70s even 80s still having that spark and the romance going and you know anyone can do it it's just in today's society i'm finding a lot of people um they get very bored um they they're constantly wanting to try new experiences which is you know you do what you feel you need to do but it's it's almost like they're not satisfied with themselves so they have to Go hardcore, and it's. Exactly. I'm gonna say it's very detrimental. But you, your view on that? Well, what in, what you said that was so important was they're not satisfied with themselves. Yeah. And then they expect their poor partner to make them satisfied mm. and to make them happy. Yeah. And it's not their partner's job to make them happy. Mm. You know, uh, when we when we talk about my our the puzzle, you've got to complete your own puzzle mm -hmm. before your piece of the puzzle which is a complete picture, mm -hmm. can fit with another piece of puzzle appropriately, without mm -hmm. holes. Because their puzzle pieces aren't going to, they're going to join almost at the side, that's how I see it, mm -hmm. with your puzzle. But they don't complete your own puzzle for you. You've got to complete it yourself. Yeah. You, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say about the Definitely. puzzle pieces? If, even though they join, and there's, you know, if you have a picture, a puzzle piece of a man and a lady, and the man and the lady, they join and they're holding hands and the puzzle pieces are connected. If, if the lady hasn't completed their self or the man hasn't completed themselves in mm. one aspect, it's still, they're not satisfied. So when you talk about them being satisfied, I think they need to get in touch with themselves. 